Hi, this is Ling Xiang from 3D Science Modeling. In this video, I'm going to introduce how students can use a computer model to explore and explain the changes in the ocean carbonate system. With the increase in atmospheric carbon dioxide from human activities, more carbon dioxide dissolves into the ocean, making the ocean less basic. The increasing acidity may significantly influence the chemical makeup of the ocean, which may prevent some marine organisms from getting enough carbonates to build up their shells or skeletons. How does this happen? If more carbon dioxide enters the ocean, shouldn't more carbonates be produced? Let's use a model to explore it. This is an ocean acidification model on our website. You can set it up, choose one of the two visual styles, icon visual or molecule visual. And then run the model, you can get the numerical results or you can get the graphical results. You can change the PCO2, which represent the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. You can choose to display or hide some particles from the model to help you focus the observations. You can also run the model in a more controlled manner. The model includes three reactions that are involved in ocean acidification. These are the equations we use to calculate the ocean pH and the concentrations of the three carbon species. The relevant parameters and values were adopted from the current oceanography studies. Now I introduce three activities in which students use the model to explore and explain ocean acidification. First, Use a computer model to describe the changes in ocean pH and the concentration of three carbon species. Set up the model. You always start with 250 ppm carbon dioxide. Look at the baseline data and then increase the pCO2. Then run the model. You can see the graphical results and the numerical results. Students can further increase the pCO2 to gather more data. In this activity, the three reactions are coupled and run continuously. Some changes can be so small that cannot be plotted in the graph. So make sure you check the numerical results as well. Second, use a model to explore the change in the pH and the concentrations in each of the three reactions. Set up the model, look at the baseline data, increase the pCO2, and then click on the first reaction. You can see the concentration of carbonic acid increases. Students can increase the pCO2 at different levels to gather more data. Let's explore the second reaction. Set up model. Look at the baseline data. Increase the pCO2. If you only click on the second reaction, nothing changes because carbonic acid has not increased yet. If we click on the first and the second reaction, you can see some changes happened. You can also check the pH value. Notice the change in the bicarbonate concentration is very small, so you want to make sure check the numerical result. You can increase the pCO2 further to gather more data. Let's explore the third reaction. Set up the model. If we only click on the third reaction, nothing will happen. We need to click on all three reactions. Increase the CPO2. Click on the first reaction, 
look at the data, click on the second reaction, look at the data, and then click on the third reaction, look at the data. You can see carbonate concentration decreases. You can see the pH seem not to change at all. Let's click on the three reaction for a few more times. Although the pH does not seem to change, but the hydronium concentration increases. Let's try a few more times. You can also use the round three coupled reaction once to speed up. You can even use the round three coupled reaction a thousand times to speed up even faster. Then you can see more significant change in the hydronium concentration and the pH. The third activity lets students use the model to explain these changes based on system equilibria. Set up the model, increase PCO2, run the first reaction, look at the concentration change, and look at the reaction quotient. Use the reaction quotient to predict how the concentration of the bicarbonate and carbonate gonna change in the next reaction. Then test your prediction by running the second reaction. Then use the relevant reaction quotient to predict the changes in the concentrations in the next reaction. Then click on the reaction to test your prediction again. At the end of this activity, students should be able to not only describe the changes in ocean pH and carbon concentrations, but also explain it based on the system equilibrium. We always encourage students gather more data. This model highlights the important phenomena. It takes time for ocean carbonate system to establish equilibria. In reality, it takes months or years for the ocean carbonate system to reach equilibria when carbon dioxide concentration changes in air. Please find the activity worksheets on our website. You can also find the teacher notes and keys for the worksheets. Give it a try. Let us know your questions, thoughts by putting down your comments below. Thanks for watching.